everybody, it's Julie from Willowbird Baking, and this is my very first Ask Me Anything. As the name implies, you can ask me anything, and I'll answer it during these tiny videos. I'll usually answer about five questions per video, just so they're not annoyingly long and boring. Yeah, I'll answer to the best of my ability, or I'll make something up. The first question today is from Kelly, who asks where I grew up, and... June also asked where did I learn my cooking and baking skills, and so Kelly asked if I had an easy bake oven, which is really cute. I was born in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, so hi all the Tennesseans out there, um, but I actually moved when I was about nine months old to Charlotte, North Carolina. Now I live in Raleigh with my husband Mike and my little dog Bird and my little turtle Squirt. I never had an easy bake oven, even though that would have been really cool, but I did bake a lot as a kid. I don't know if it was just because my mom like wanted me out of her hair or she wanted dessert or whatever, but she used to let me bake um, the little Nestle Toll House cookies on the back of the package. Those things are rocking, by the way. Still the best cookie I've ever eaten. And the ones with nuts and stuff. Oh, the Vanishing Oatmeal cookies were really good, too. Those are on the Quaker Oats box. But anyway, I baked Texas sheet cakes all the time, and so... I baked a lot as a kid, and um, my dad cooked a lot when my mom was in college, and my mom cooked a lot, so we were just a very cooking family. I learned a lot of my baking skills just via the internet and trial and error, so I read a lot of recipes when I'm trying to develop one, and I, you know, look things up online if I don't understand how an ingredient functions in a recipe. Um, YouTube is really great for techniques that I'm learning for the first time or that I actually learned by just doing, which is why I'm such a huge proponent of people just getting in the kitchen and messing around and trying again if you fail because that's really how you get better at it. Okay, this one's a good one. Leisha asks, how did I grow into liking coconut? And I really did, I promise you guys I'm not making this up. I really used to hate coconut. <laughs> I used to hate it. And I don't really, some people say it's like a texture thing, and I guess maybe it was for me, but I just remember hating everything about it. Everything. The reason I started to like coconut was because I had a really flippin' good coconut cake. Like a one of those giant layers and layers of really fluffy, light, frosted, like snow white ones. Really good coconut cakes. And I just remember thinking... This is awesome, and I don't really know what's wrong with me and why I've not eaten this for my entire life. That's when I started liking coconut, and that, my friends, is why I'm so addicted to producing great, amazing coconut recipes because I need that to happen for everyone, that wonderful coconut moment. Okay, Willow asks, can we just pause and admire what an awesome name Willow has? Willow asks what my favorite meal and dessert are. My, I don't know what my favorite whole, like, whole meal is, but my favorite food is macaroni and cheese. Hands down. Always has been. Always will be. And when I say macaroni and cheese, I don't mean that, like, creamy macaroni and cheese that doesn't fly. The one that's, like, over-dairied. I like the really custardy, like, it's got to make a sound when you put your fork into it. Custardy macaroni and cheese. That is just the best food in the universe. As for dessert... This is really hard. It's Texas sheet cake, but I I can't not have coconut, but pumpkin. Maybe a Texas pumpkin coconut sheet cake? I guess right now I would say coconut cake? No. Coconut cream pie? No. no. Okay, I really don't know how many questions it's been, but this is the last one, I think. I don't know. Um, June asked some blogging related questions. She asked how I got into blogging and how long it took me to gain followers and if I feel like there's sort of still room in the field. I got into blogging in 2009. Actually, I've been journaling online since 2004. I'm like an old school journaler. But I really got into blogging my recipes and food in 2009, mostly just because I was making really cool stuff. And I really thought other people should see how cool it was too. I had obviously super noble motivation. Once I started, it took, it takes about, I mean, it's going to take about a year to gain to where you really feel like people are seeing your blog. And that's, it's really 
you know, that's my guesstimate, but it really depends on your content. If you're producing great content on a regular basis and you're sharing on social media and you're creating a community, like I really love Little Bird Baking's community because we all chat and we have so much fun together and it's we can be funny together, we can be serious together, we can really respect each other. So if you're creating that kind of community, um, it can go a little faster and... Uh, it really just depends. It's definitely not a quick thing. It gets there and it is not fast. I definitely think there's room for more food blogs. You have to want to do it and love to do it um, separate from kind of the money and the like recognition aspect. That part is really transient and sometimes doesn't materialize at all. If you go into this thinking, I want to be a full-time blogger and I want to be famous, I'm the next pioneer woman, it's probably going to be a disappointing few years. But if you get into this because you are really passionate about writing, which I am, and you are really passionate about food, which I am, oh my gosh, food, um, and you can love it separately from gaining that fame and notoriety and money, then that sustains you. Definitely spend some time thinking about who you are. Really create a focused idea. I think that is what you see Thug Kitchen do. Joy the Baker, there's a reason everybody loves Joy the Baker, and it's because she has the most personality and the biggest voice. You have to be you. All right, that's it for this first Ask Me Anything. If you have any other questions, you can leave them in the comments below and I'll see them. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel because that's where all this stuff is going. And if you subscribe, you'll get a little notification when a new video is posted. And this is bonus footage of me playing guitar in my drama. Like, why didn't anybody ask my favorite song? I had it all queued up to share with you guys, but whatever. Mwah.